Standing on this mountain top, looking just how far we've come, knowing. I remember when I was growing up, my brother and I, we had a dog named Jack, and Jack was predominantly and always an outside dog unless we accidentally let him inside. Jack was always in the backyard. And our backyard, like most houses, had a wooden fence all the way around it. And on the side of the house, there was this gate that allowed us to go from the front yard to the backyard. And so Jack was in the backyard, but he hated being in the backyard, especially if it rained or thundered and he'd get scared. And so he'd go over to that gate and he'd scratch at it or he'd throw his head or his body against it even, trying to get it open. And, you know, it would get open and he would get out and he would leave that confined environment. And so this gate that was meant to keep him in this safe area was actually failing. And so Jack was getting out of this confined, safe, protected environment. Now when you hear the word gate, you might think of a, a wooden gate, like for a wooden fence, or if you own cattle or, or own land, you know, you might think of a gate similar to this, where, you know, it's made out of metal. But really, the basics are all the same. It's a door on hinges that's connected to either a fence or a wall of some sort. Now, if you were to ask people what the purpose of a gate is, they might say, well, it's to allow animals to go in and out. And that's partly true, but really the purpose of a gate is to allow animals to go in and out when they're supposed to, when the owner of the animal allows them to go in and out. Because really, the purpose of a gate provides security. It keeps animals in that secure, enclosed environment, but it allows them to go out whenever the owner allows them to. And so really the purpose of a gate keeps animals in this secure, enclosed environment and prevents them from going out into this dangerous environment where there might be dangerous animals or, or other dangerous things that might come into the path. In John chapter 10, Jesus is speaking to some Jews and he says, I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. He will come in and go out and find pasture. And then a few verses later, he says, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for his flock. Here, Jesus is using the symbolism of a sheepfold or a pen and the good shepherd to talk about, to drive home this idea of protection and security. And it's pretty obvious that when Jesus talks about flock or sheep, he's talking about his followers. He's talking about you and me. And so Jesus is saying that he brings protection. He brings the sense of security for you and me. As sheep, we have to know our shepherd. We have to hear his voice and recognize it because it's when we know our shepherd that we gain that sense of security and protection and so that he takes us out to feed in pastures that are beneficial to us. And so when night comes and darkness begins to fall, Jesus, he brings us back behind the walls, back to this place of security and protection and he protects us from anything that might be dangerous that's out in the darkness. So whether it be wolves or thieves, Jesus brings us in, He protects us, and makes us secure.